Quiz sections are used to organize your questions into folders. You can do this in the question library or while creating the quiz. Both of these areas are identical in functionality. One creates folders in the question library while the other is created in the quiz. These sections can be random sections or just sections. So what you see here is a quiz here and I haven't gone to the added and edit questions area, I'm just in the quiz, and you'll see this little purple icon. That purple icon means that this is what's called a random section. And then you'll see this other icon here that doesn't purple, and that's a regular section, meaning it just has questions in it. And the idea of a section is really a folder. It's really meant for organization within a quiz. You don't have to have questions in a section. So when I go to add and edit questions, for example, You'll notice here, this is a section, this is a section, this is a section. These are random sections, meaning that I have a set of questions, and it gives me a random set of, uh, a, a take from a pool of questions, and I choose a certain number, and it randomly identifies that to the student. And you should go and review the tutorials on random sections to understand that. This section is just a section for multiple choice questions, or it could be a section for uh, qu chapter one. If, let's say I'm doing a, a midterm and I want questions from quiz uh, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. I can then have those questions in sections. Now you'll also notice that these are just a set of questions right here that are not in a section. So within a quiz, you don't have to have questions in a section at all if you don't want to. Again, the purpose of the section is just for organizational sake in this particular case. Um, what will happen when you go to add and edit questions, you'll see where it says one section, three random sections, two questions in here. Now, one of the uses of, of a section is um, in a thing called the message. So I'm going to go over here and go to this area that says message. And notice right here that um, let's say I have a set of questions that I want to use some information. I want to provide the students with a with a file, for example, or an image, um, or a video. Whatever it is, I can put into the HTML editor here, and then I can say to the students, answer this next, next set of questions. And instead of having that information after, at the beginning of every single question, I can have it one time with the section, and then that information is displayed to the student. And then I also then have to choose to display the image here and then make some choices also there. So there are other purposes to sections too. Um, another purpose to a section, if I go and edit the section here, is let's say um, I just want to show the section name. That's another thing that I can do here. So in that particular case, maybe I want to delineate my quiz so my students can know, here's a set of multiple choice questions, here's my essay questions. And I want them in those specific order. So again, it's your choice. And what you name the section is your choice also. But again, the whole purpose of the section is organization and making your quiz uh, a better experience for your students. Um, if you choose not to display the, uh, the title, which is the default, then again, the purpose of the section is really for you as the faculty to be able to delineate what questions I'm displaying to my students.